Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I have a little game that I want to play today, so if you're up for it, feel free. If not, then this is a video about my tape collection. And the reason that I think it would be fun as a game is I can give you hints as to the different things that I have in my tape collection, and you can try and guess what they are. So altogether, there's 10 artists in here. One of them was not from my tape collection, it was from either my mum or dad's tape collection, so it's an older tape, but everything else is stuff that was in the charts from between like 1995 and 1999. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the tapes one by one, or in the case of the bands that I have quite a few of, I'll take them all at once, but I'm going to let you guess what the songs are and things, and if you want to play along down in the comments, feel free to. You can maybe tell me out of 10 what you got, what your guesses were and things. So the first one that I have here, I paid £2.29 for in probably Woolworths, and this was the first song from a band that went on to have quite a number of novelty hits. This one came out in 1997, and the band was from Denmark, I'm thinking. It also, this song also led to a lawsuit from Mattel, because they didn't like the portrayal of a very popular children's toy. It is Barbie Girl by Aqua, and what I'm covering with my finger is just my name there because I took this tape into school and my mum didn't want me to lose it, she didn't want me to get it confused with all the other girls who also had Barbie Girl on tape, because this, in 1997, was a jam. And that was also my karaoke song for a while, which is you know, pretty cringy, but I still love it. I'm not bringing these out in any particular order, it's just whichever ones I come to first in the tape collection. But the next person is somebody who still tours, is still very, very well known, is one of the people you think of when you think of amazing voices in music, in like the kind of modern times. It's Celine Dion, and it's all coming back to me now. It was a song that was written by Jim Steinman, and he does a lot of meatloaf songs, like there was a lot of like Bat Out of Hell and stuff was written by him. It's like all very theatrical, musical sounding songs that are just super dramatic. Other ones by him are like I Would Do Anything For Love, he also wrote Total Eclipse of the Heart. He's such a cool guy. And he actually had a disagreement with Meatloaf around about the time that this song was written, and he decided Meatloaf wasn't going to get the song, and he gave it to Celine Dion instead. And years later, Meatloaf did record a version after they made up and things. But yeah, that's a bit of trivia behind that. Obviously, I didn't know all of that when I was very young, in 1996. The next one I have here is very much a novelty song. And if people said they didn't know this, I wouldn't entirely be surprised. But um, I thought it was really cool at the time. I'd say it's more like a kiddie song than anything. It's Witch Doctor by The Cartoons. I don't know if anybody else remembers The Cartoons. The Cartoons done quite a few novelty songs, but this was their most famous one. The other one I can think of is um, Everybody sing this song, do da, do da. Well, everybody sing this song. The dog's sleeping over there, so if you hear him singing along, it's totally unintentional. He's dreaming. The tape is kind of a little loose at the end there. I don't know if you can see that. Like here, like it should, it could be tightened up a bit. So I'm going to bring out a tool that I haven't used in ages for this job. And those of you who are too young to remember this might find out how a pen will help your tape cassettes. When the tape rolls loose, you just bring the pen through here and you wind it back and it winds up tightly again. There we go, you, you've learned something. I remember a few years ago there was a picture on Facebook that said if you know how these two are related then you're obviously old enough to be here or something like that. That's how tape players work and tape cassettes work if you've never seen that before. The next song I have here was not the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest but it was actually kind of a follow-up. It's I Belong To You by Gina G. Now, when I brought this out a couple of minutes ago, I was all ready to tell you that this was ooh ah just a little bit, and when I've looked at it, it's actually a totally different song, but it does have ooh ah just a little bit on there as well, so I think that's maybe why I bought this tape. Yeah, that was a really good hit. 
I miss Gina G. I miss Gina G. Like she had a couple of good tunes there. There's actually a tape here as well that for obvious reasons we're not going to listen to and it's called Sing Along with Katie and I'm pretty sure I sang a version of I Belong To You on that one. There we are. We're not going to listen to that today, but if I can find a tape player and I feel like embarrassing myself, maybe we'll react to that at some point. The next song I have was a Eurovision Song Contest entry. I don't think it won. Did it win? One of these won. And right now I'm blanking. This is Love Shine A Light by Katrina and the Waves. And I think this was 1997. It was another Eurovision Song Contest entry for sure. Yeah, this is marked 1997. So I think that was our entry for 1997. And this one is such a tune as well. You don't really hear from Katrina and the Waves either, but I feel like there's another really famous song that I'm forgetting right now by them. And that one goes down in Eurovision history. Next one I have is Very Forgettable. And I say that very regretfully because when it comes on the music channel, I love hearing it. I didn't hear it for a while until last year and then I was like, oh, I remember this. And I think I actually got this tape from Santa one of the years for Christmas. It's Baby Birds and You're Gorgeous. And I will completely forgive you if you don't know what this song is. I'm gutted for you if you don't know what this is. But if you do know what this is, let me know down below if you remember this song. Because I absolutely loved it. And again on Sing Along with Katie, I'm pretty sure I covered it. This next tape is quite a somber one because it was put together after a tragedy that happened in 1996. There was a gun massacre at a school in Scotland called Dunblane and this was put together by the school children in their memory to raise money for charity. So it's actually a cover of Knocking on Heaven's Door and then a song called Throw These Guns Away, which I think was one that was written especially for it. This tape raised money for Save the Children, Childline, and the Children's Hospice Association of Scotland, which is also known as CHAS. And the little clown drawing on the front was done by one of the kids who unfortunately passed away after this gun massacre there. She was one of the victims. So this one, is a song that I wasn't really crazy about when I heard it on the charts. It just sounded like kids singing to me and I didn't really understand it, but my dad bought it for me because he knew it was an important cause. The next ones I have here are from probably the biggest girl band in the 90s. And if you haven't heard of these lots, then I don't know what to say. Where have you been? It's the Spice Girls. Say You'll Be There is probably the first song I heard by the Spice Girls and then I really got into them. Uh, I also have Two Become One. I love the looks on that, by the way. I, I, I'm in love with Jerry's hair, I seriously am. Um, we also have Mama and Who Do You Think You Are? That was done for Comic Relief, I think. Yeah, that was a Comic Relief release, as it says there. And then I also have the second album, Spice World. I don't know where the case is for this. It was hanging out at my grandma's house for a long time and it must have just went missing when it was in the tape player. But I think that was my favorite album by them as well. So the next one I have here is by a group who do a lot of like student union nights and things because students would probably feel a lot of nostalgia for these songs. And I think this was the first one that they released. The Venga bus is coming and everybody's jumping. It's the Venga Boys, in case you don't know that song. And if you don't know that song, where have you been? Um, yeah, I've also got Up and Down on here. I think I remember that one, but it wasn't like one of my favorites. I quite like Boom, 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 Boom. I want you in my room as well and stuff. But they have so many good tunes. And they also bring out kind of newish music and things. There's a song called Rocket to Uranus. And yes, that, you know, play on words was intended and things. Um, they just seem like such a fun bunch. I'd love to go and see them in concert or like just as a student union somewhere. The last tape I have here in my collection and then my tub is absolutely empty is a girl group who were popular in the 80s. And I didn't really know them as a kid. I kind of love them now. I think they're great when I hear them on the radio and things. I have seen them live once but this was from my mum's collection. When I was little, I did not know who these were, 
but this is the greatest hits collection of Banana Rama. So stuff on here include I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. My favourite love in the first degree. Um, what else do we have? Really saying something. Robert De Niro's waiting, talking to the Italian. I was going to say Britannia. Um, Cruel Summer. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, goodbye. I don't know if that was always the words. I think it's kiss him goodbye or something. I don't know. Like this tape would probably be in my collection for real if tape players were still a thing because I didn't really know what to think of that at the time. Somebody just kind of dumped it in with my tapes because I had a tape collection and I've somehow kept it. But there we are, the greatest hits of Bananarama. And that concludes the tour of my tape collection. So I hope you enjoyed. As you can probably tell, I'm a 90s kid. And if you're a 90s kid as well, you'll maybe remember some of these. Do you remember these songs? Let me know down below if you do. Did you have these in your tape collection? Let me know down below. And if you didn't have these songs in your tape collection, what was in your tape collection? And did you expect these to be in my tape collection? I would love to know everything you have to tell me about tapes down below. I'd love to read it in the comments and thank you so so much for watching everybody cheerio thanks again for watching everybody if you enjoyed this video and would maybe like to watch another one I've linked one up over here you might enjoy and YouTube have suggested one you might enjoy over here and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos thanks again so much everyone cheerio